Welcome back to the Thursday walkthrough. Martin O'Donnell here with Coach Lovey Smith. Coach, uh, first Big Ten win last week, first road win. Uh, something special about getting on the plane or getting on the bus after a victory, isn't there? There's no feeling like it. Um, but you, you should celebrate. I mean, it's hard winning football games, period. And when you go on the road like that in, a, in an environment like that and find a way to win it, you know, guys played hard from the beginning, of course, until the end. And uh, we know how to celebrate. We just have to uh, continue to win so we can celebrate more after games. Well, and you've kind of talked about this season in terms of quarters. So second quarter's done. We're at halftime now. How would you assess the team to this point? Well, I think it's just like, you know, there's a two and four record, and that says you're behind at the half. But, you know, it's all about what you do coming out from, from the halftime. So that's where we are. Uh, you would like to, you know, finish up with a good two-minute drill and score at the end and have a little momentum. We have momentum coming into the second half of our season and to be able to play a good football team, you know, no, not good. I mean, one of the best football teams in the country should have you playing at your best. Well, and so where are some of the areas on this team where you've seen growth from week one to now? I, I think there's been some type of growth in all areas, but... You know, just like I've talked, we've talked the last couple of weeks, the running back position, um, you know, our fullback, all three tailbacks all had a winning performance this past week. There's no position on our team that's had that type of consistent play. But I think you look throughout. You know, last week we had guys play uh, certain positions for the first time. Mm -hmm. uh, Darius Mosley, for one, at the nickel position, he was about as productive as you can be. You know, getting a touchdown, getting another takeaway, running a guy down, stopping a long touchdown run. So we have individual efforts that improve from week to week. Well, and Darius Mosey also doing things in the return game on, on punt return as well, and that really helps field position in a tremendous way. Yes, it, it does. I should have mentioned that, but um, uh, you're right, you can. It's about first downs. Of course, he had the one big run. Uh, we like for him to maybe think about fair catch in it every once in a while. But uh, when you have players that are trying to have, make impact plays, uh, you have to be excited about that. But we need more of those type. Really please, you know, we talk an awful lot about the turnover ratio. And we're not doing a whole lot of great things as a football team, but turnover ratio-wise uh, right now, we're plus eight. And that puts us up in the top five nationally. If you continue to do that, you do give your, yourself a chance to win games. And for us, last week, you know, getting five takeaways is pretty hard to do. Yeah, takeaways are football in a lot of sense. And, you know, this week playing at Michigan, the Wolverines, as you said, one of the top-ranked teams in the country. And while they're very good on both sides of the ball, you know, certainly that Michigan defense, you know, up there in terms of sacks per game and points allowed – what are you seeing in terms of uh, what they do and what they really bring to the table that makes them so successful? Well, I, I think one of the reasons why they're ranked as high as they are as a football team is what they do up front on both sides of the football. And uh, defensively, again, front seven, outstanding. Uh, think about 10 points or so a game. Uh, once you have that, you have a, a chance to win a lot of football games. Uh, but it's physical play from there. Stop the run, make you throw the football, and then put pressure on the pass. Certainly. Well, Coach, thanks for your time again, and thanks for stopping by the Thursday walkthrough.